Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What is up everybody? It is Brock and we are here with a brand new episode of All About. Today we are learning about a very beautiful angelfish. We call them the blue face angelfish. Let's get started. Prices on them. You'll spend a solid $100 on a juvenile. And you will even end up in the range of $200 to $300 if you want one that has already changed colors and a lot bigger size. So this is not a cheap angel to get. Luckily in our store we can get some of the more adult ones at about $150. But if you're one that buys their fish online it's going to be rough for you. Tank size you need about 180 gallon. It's got to be a big old tank for this guy because he gets huge and he grows pretty good pretty fast. Care level, moderate, not really too hard to take care of, just a couple extra things you got to do. Temper, he is semi-aggressive. This is one of the most aggressive angels I've dealt with. He becomes very territorial over the tank in a short period of time too. Reef compatible, it's with caution. For me, angels do not belong in a reef tank. I just do not trust them. They pick way too much. But if you still want to get one and build a reef tank around them, make sure to keep soft corals and clams out of there because he is big time on picking at those. And with them having that little meaty body on them, it will really jack them up if the blue face goes down there and takes a snag out of them. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's basic there to keep him healthy. Diet, he is an omnivore. This is one of the hungriest angels I've ever dealt with too. He eats a lot and he needs to be fed a lot per day. Maybe a couple times, even three times a day. He just eats a ton. I don't know where it goes. Feeding algae is a big thing. Sea veggies is a good product to get. They love to chew on that. Make sure to put it on a little clip. Put it in there for him to chew on. That will keep his colors really pretty. Keep any kind of diseases out of his system. And it will just overall keep him super healthy. Pellets are another good thing to feed him. Those have good antibodies in them to help him stay really healthy. And then plus frozen foods like mysis, spirulina is a great one for him. Because that has algae already built into it. And then even brine shrimp. So make sure you're feeding this dude a ton. It'll also, feeding him a ton will keep his aggression down because no fish really wants to be aggressive with a full stomach. Max size, a foot long easily, and you will see them get this big in a pretty short amount of time. I'm talking in the first year, you'll see them double in size. Compatibility, just ask. Like I said, I would recommend it being the only angel fish in your tank just because they get so territorial. Not only just towards other angel fish if you put them in there, but towards everybody. You really want to put this guy with some tough fish because he might mess with the smaller ones. Colors, this guy's a very vibrant fish when he's young and whenever he gets older. Whenever he's a juvenile, he looks almost like a Koran angel with that blue, white, and black stripes going down him. The one in the video you're seeing is an adult where he has that real nice blue face with a little bit of a yellow body going behind him. But with the colors on him as a young one, they will kind of fade out a little faster than most angels. Within a year, you will probably already start to see fading of that real vibrant color to this more yellowy color. Origin, come for a couple different places. Indonesia is a big spot or Sri Lanka is another really good spot they get them from. So that coming all the way over here definitely jumps up the price on them too. Make sure you have plenty of live rock. These fish are known to stay behind the rocks a little bit. They're not just 100% out and about. They like to roam around back there in the caves and then come out and then go back down in the caves. So make sure you have plenty of good little structures going and Give them plenty of room to run behind. Then also he's looking for algae constantly. Angels are always picking on rocks. So make sure he has plenty of places to pick on. And if you already have some hair algae in your tank. Well good for him. He'll be happy as ever to go chew it up. Anything else? I think I hit everything there for y'all. Big fish. You need a big tank for him. He's relatively easy fish to take care of. He just is pretty mean. So make sure to keep him with other tough fish so he don't beat up on the smaller ones. And coral, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you just really want him to put him in there, you're going to have to put him in there without putting soft corals or clams in there. 
which in my case, those are my favorite kind of corals. But that's it. That's the blue face angelfish. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all later.